hi this is the demo for the symptom management project and I'm going to walk over the project uh, well um, let's see so this is the directory that you would get once you unzip my submission and I'm going to go over this document to start with for the demo we'll start directly with the demo and I'm going to use the emulator for that so I have an emulator here and the source code is here so this project symptom management is the server and I'm going to start the server while this starts let's go back to the document and I like to mention that in the demo <coughs> I've got two ductors with login ID D1 and D2 each of the ductors have got two patients P1 and P2 they are the login IDs and P3 and P4 they are the login IDs and P1 and P2 are assigned to D1 and P3 and P4 are assigned to D2 this assignment is done on the server side oops let's see what's wrong here okay it is already running so I'm going to terminate and remove I'm going to terminate this I'm going to start up again let's say run as Java application <coughs> okay um, so on the server side um, these users are created here I use an in-memory database and these two functions basically creates the patient and the doctor here you see initialize doctor d1 and d2 are created and saved into the database and the patients p1 p2 p3 p4 are created and saved into the database p1 and p2 are assigned to d1 and d1 p3 and p4 are assigned to d2 and d2 we'll use this assumption and show the demonstration to after the server is started to create these users I use a unit test um, called setup that I will run which will create these users okay now we are all set to start our app the app is here this is the source code so I'm going to start the app in my emulator let's see it's taking a while but started off okay good now we'll log in as the doctor d1 with the password d1 this is the login screen so as soon as we log in we see the doctor has got can see his patients and the doctor can search his patient patient let's see let's put s and there you see it showed only one name let's put uh, a of course the letter a is present in both the patient's name let me put a n well it shows Manmohan Singh well now the doctor can click let's see, can select the patient and check his check-ins let's see if this patient has got any check-ins now this patient doesn't have any check-ins the doctor can add medication if he wants let's see the patient's medication well the patient has got no medication so let's add a medication for the patient okay let's see so I add one medication and then I add another medicine so here I have added the medicines as soon as you add the medicines the message is sent to the server and so the server is aware of it now uh, 
let's we'll 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 show the demo with only patient p1 which is shubhagrata deb and let's go back and uh, can add medication now let's get the patient login and see if he can check in answer all the questions and submit the check-in now as you remember we had our patient p1 and password is p1 so the patient logs in he sees his name details date of birth and the medical record number and so forth patient can check in now let's see patient clicks check in now and he's pumped at with those questions the first question does your pain stop you from eating or drinking he says let's say i can't eat how bad is your mouth pain or sore throat let's just say severe did you take your lot app if the patient says yes then he's asked for the date and time let's put today's date then and let's put time which is right now done for your oxytocin let's say we say no so the user is not prompted for the date and time now he can submit his check-in well submitted successfully uh, the patient can submit as many check-ins he or she wants right um, so let's assume the patient checks in once again let's say the patient comes back after a while and decides to check in again he says let's say I still let's say I, I, I see I can't eat severe and this time let's say no for both the cases well, when the patient submits it is this submission time that is taken into account so it is very difficult for us to simulate uh, 12 hours of severe pain uh, or 12 hours of I cannot eat uh, for the demo but we will use some other mechanism to test it for now let's now see <laughs> the other feature <clears throat> the next thing is can the patient set reminders reminders are minimum of four reminders trigger notifications clicking on notification takes him or her to the check-in page let's see where are the reminders now if it goes here he clicks on reminders and as you can see by default there are four reminders uh, 12 a.m. 6 a.m. 12 p.m. 6 p.m. and the remove buttons are all grayed out because there's a minimum of four reminders that the patient must acknowledge so the patient can add one more reminder let's add one more reminder and uh, right now the time is 8 37 a.m. let's let me make it to 8 40 and say done which is three minutes from now and uh, now as you see the the older reminders can be removed so let's remove one of them as soon as you remove them, everything is grayed off now it's 8 40 right right now the eight time is 8 37 so in uh, three minutes from now we should see a notification coming up so we'll be back okay we are back at 8 40 and we can see the notification has just come we can click on the notification pane and you can see uh, check in click to check in now so the patient clicks here and it takes him to the check-in page now he can check in again now now if he clicks on check in um, it takes him to the same page and he can submit to check in this time let's say no well controlled let's say no let's say and submit the check-in submit it successfully okay I'm back and now I'm going to show you the feature of taking the picture the phone has gone into horizontal mode um, to take the picture the patient clicks on here and says picture okay so we have taken the picture and you see the toast message saying the file was saved in a particular directory so the picture is taken now let's go back and see how the doctor logs in and sees the patient's three or four check-ins that we just did uh, i'm going to make the phone into uh, vertical mode and come back again because control f12 just makes it worse so i'll be back okay we are back now we are going to log in as the doctor and see the patient's check-ins 
so we're logging in as a doctor and <coughs> there were two patients remember we logged in as p1 which was shiva brother dev so we're going to click on this patient and see the patient has made three check-ins uh, these check-ins are the time when he made the check-ins let's take the first one and here the patient's check-in details are shown the patient has mouth pain severe eating drinking i can't eat uh, oxytocin he skipped and lot app he took at this particular time let's look at the other check-ins and if you remember we said no to both the medication and the other check-in also okay so now <coughs> we have seen all the three check-ins now the doctor is supposed to get an alert um, if the patient experiences 12 hours of severe pain and as I mentioned this it would take me 12 hours uh, of time to show this another 12 hours to show this and another 16 hours to show this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some unit tests on my server to simulate those scenarios and let's go to the server and I have a test called test 12 hours I can't eat and what it does it it creates a medication for D1 for doctor 1 and patient P1 assigns those medicines adds the medication and uh, submits a check-in or uh, right now after a while the patient submits again with uh, after now plus eight hours uh, again the patient submits again after now plus 13 hours so cumulatively we have 12 hours of uh, eating drinking answer uh, as to this is this is the parameter that says uh, eating drinking is let's see what does two mean if I press F3 it says zero one two I can't eat so the patient is checking in three times at a particular time eight hours after that and 13 hours after that saying that the patient cannot eat so I'm going to run this unit test to simulate uh, the scenario okay so the tests are run which means that the patient has submitted three check-ins and uh, alert should have been generated on the server and the way my app works is that every one hour um, as there's a service that is running uh, that checks for new alerts we're not going to wait for the service of one hour what we are going to do is we're going to um, perform a login again of the doctor because that is another situation where uh, the data is pulled down from the server now let's see it's a patient in distress so there's an alert that comes and then we pull down uh -oh, let's see okay check in check now see to see patients check in so the alert shows up and we click here and it directly takes you to the patient's three check-ins well pardon my slow PC so here you see the three medications one that is submitted in 904 on number 29 then at uh, 5 p.m. and then at 10 p.m. so 9 in the morning to 10 um, in the evening so which is more than 12 hours and in all these times he said I can't eat I can't eat and I can't eat and that's why we got the notification now if the doctor logs in again let's see so if the doctor logs in again he does not see the notification because the notification is is uh, doctor has already seen the notification now let's take the other scenario which is 12 hours of severe pain I think I showed you the 12 hours of I can't eat now I'm going to show you the 12 hours of severe pain uh, let's see so for that I have 12 hours of severe pain okay here it is here again the same test patient submits a check-in now and then after, after a while after 10 hours patient submits again and after 13 hours patient submits again this time it is um, mouth pain answers 2 2 and 2 what are these if we see mouth pain answers 0 1 2 severe severe and severe okay so I'm going to run this test 
so this so I'm running this on behalf of the patient because I we are, can't wait for 12 hours to demo this okay let's see now that is done now let's log in as the doctor once again okay patient in distress let's look at the notification and it says checking now okay so it takes back to the same check-in and here again as you can see it's a different time is 9 uh, to 10 from the morning to the evening it's around <coughs> 12 hours of um, severe pain severe pain and severe pain okay uh, now let's log in again uh, I'm doing multiple logins just for the demo otherwise there is a service running as I mentioned that is going to give you the notification after every one hour It's going to check with the server if there are new notifications now let's simulate the 16 hours of moderate to severe pain so here there's a now patient submits a check-in right now and then patient submits a check-in after 10 hours and then after 13 hours and then after 17 hours so cumulatively there's 16 hours of of, of uh, moderate to severe pain so here you see mouth pain answers one mouth pain answers two mouth pain answers two and one so it is one one two one let's see what is one and what is two uh, two, 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 two so one is moderate and then severe so in a way the patient says i have moderate pain here moderate pain and then he says severe pain and then again moderate pain so cumulatively there are 16 hours of moderate pain and we're going to run this uh, test to simulate the patient 16 hours <coughs> now in the meanwhile let's wait for the test to run okay now we log in as a doctor and there comes the notification so we pull down the notification and this time i'm not going to click on the notification i'm just going to leave it this way okay so I'm going to re-log in again since the doctor has not viewed the notification the notification is still marked as unread it's still active so the doctor should see the notification as he logs in again and he still sees the notification check in now and here the four uh, check-ins which where there is a gap of uh, 16 hours from 9 in the morning to the next day 2 a.m. so it's more than 16 hours okay let's see what we have to demo more okay so there is a requirement that the doctor can see only his or her patients and not the other patients so I showed you in the beginning that we have two doctors and two patients let's see okay so we logged in as d1 and we saw these two patients now now for completeness let's log in as d2 and see the other two patients d2 d2 so we see the other two patients uh swift and crater that's it from my side and i think i have gone over uh my app now I'm going to quickly go over my document and this document contains the design, the server design, the database, mobile app and how to build the source code. Uh, so on the server side there are a bunch of REST APIs and all those APIs are shown here and uh, the REST APIs are implemented in symptomcontroller.java which is at here. symptomcontroller.java so this is the file where all the rest APIs are implemented the unit tests for the server are available at symptom test.java so I have a bunch of unit tests here um, that test all the rest APIs you can click on here and say run JUnit it will be going to run all the tests okay while the tests are executing let's go back to the document 
the database tables to store the data implemented by the following CRUD repositories. Currently, the server uses in memory DB. So, all the star repository to Java in this project are data database files. I'll show you that. Let's see where are they. Here. So, these are all the database objects and the corresponding repository files. Okay, in the meantime, let's see our unit test. So, all the unit tests has passed. So, you can run this unit test if you import my project into Eclipse. The mobile app. Um, so, if you look at my submission directory, there is a readme.txt and it's going to show you how to build the source code, building and running the server code, and how to build the mobile app. Um, and for each of these evaluation criteria, I have given the answers here and the source code is here. Uh, so for so everything that is in blue is the evaluation criteria as per the rubric and the answers are explained in black font. Um, so all the references to all the files are shown here. Uh, I'll not go over this in detail because you can take your own time to read this. But I'm going to sh quickly show you the project, the client, the app is here and all the source code are here. This is pretty much all the UI stuff. And here these are the objects that is uh, the same as on the server side. And the OAuth code is here and there's an HTTP, easy HTTP client that is here that is made used to make the REST retrofit calls. So that's it. Uh, thank you for your time and thanks for listening to this video. Bye-bye.